This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson one, prime factorization. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Students, today we talked about how to make a factor tree. When you do a factor tree, you need a composite number and then you take the composite number and break it into factors or numbers that you can multiply together to get the composite number you started with. So here I have the number 42. 42 is an even number, so I know that I'm going to be able to uh, take 2 and times it by something else. 2 times 21 is 42, and then 2 is a prime number. Uh, we, have, we don't do this part. Okay, then here I have 21, and I'm going to divide 21 into two uh, factors that you can multiply together to get 21. So we have 3 and 7. Once we circle our prime numbers, then we write it as uh, a product doing 2 times 3 times 7 equals 21. And please remember that we always write the smallest number first, and then the next smallest, and then the next smallest. Okay, I'll do one or two with you here, and then you can finish the rest on your own. We're going to do the prime factorization of 50. So I need to think of two numbers that I can multiply together that would be 50. Oh, I could do 2 times 25, I could do 5 times 10, I think I'll do 5 times 10. It doesn't matter which numbers that you choose as long as when you multiply them together, they do equal uh, the composite number that you're starting with. So 5 times 10. Now I ask myself, is 5 a prime number? Yes, 5 is a prime number, so I will circle it. And then I'm finished with that number since it's prime. Now I'll move over to 10. Is 10 a prime number? No, it isn't, so I'm going to draw two branches since this is a tree, and then I will write two factors of 10. So I ask myself, what are two numbers that I can multiply together to be 10? Well, I can do two and I can do five. Two times five is 10. Is two a prime number? Yes, it is. Is five a prime number? Yes, it is. And now I'm finished because there aren't any numbers left that aren't circled. So I'll look at my prime numbers. I have 5, 2, and 5, and I'm going to write the smallest one first, which is 2, and then I'll write 5, and then I'll write 5. So when I write the prime factorization, it means to write 2 times 5 times 5 equals 10. So that's how you'll do that. All right, here you have 2. Oh, you're going to do the prime factorization of 81, 65, and 28. You do it just like this, and you can watch this again if you need to. Okay, I'm going to flip to the other side now, and let's look at this one. Brittany scored an 85 on her last math test. Write the prime factorization of 85. So basically, I'm going to do the same thing that I just did on the front, and I'm going to use the number 85. So I could do it right here is fine, and think of two numbers that I can multiply to get um, 85. This number ends in a 5, so I know that I could count by 5s, like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'd have to figure out 5 times what number equals 85 and write it here. Okay, Priscilla had 56 stickers in her collection. Write the prime factorization of 56. You'll do the very same thing. This one, ooh, tricky. We're going to find the error. Lainey wrote the prime factorization of 60 as 2 times 5 times 6. Is she correct? If not, what is the prime factorization of 60? So you're going to say, is she correct? So you'll write yes or no. Okay, if not, if you wrote no, then you're going to do the prime factorization of 60, which you could do like right here or something. Okay, and then it says explain. So after you do the prime factorization and write the number, if you need to, then you need to explain why. What did she do wrong? Make sure that you explain. Okay, fill in each blank with the correct term or number to complete the sentence. Blank numbers can be written as a product of blank factors. This is called the prime factorization. Okay, we've talked about prime numbers and we've talked about composite numbers. So you'll need to figure out where those two numbers should, where those two words should go in the blanks. And here we have 
Josiah had a pot belly pig as a pet that weighed 46 pounds. What is the prime factorization of 46? So basically, you're going to do 46 and then decide which one is the correct answer. Or you could go backwards and check the work by just multiplying these, do 2 times 23, do 2 times 2 times 11, and figure out which one, um, find out the one that has an answer of 46. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.